Good morning, everybody. Today's episode 8 of Coffee with Raf, the morning podcast to help you start your day and create an extraordinary life one day at a time. I hope you're well. Let me know what time it is where you're listening to. Actually, I'm very curious about this. It's 5 a.m. here where I am in Central European time. And let's get started in today's episode. We have a lot of really important things to cover here. And let me start by... um, and in French, there's a famous saying that says, Le ridicule ne tue pas. This means that being ridiculous will not kill you. And that is a good thing. <laughs> because today I'm going to show you how you will probably be ridiculed at some point very soon. Yes, that is true. And because you expect it, because you are prepared for it, you can accept it and embrace it as an experience in and of itself. But before we get started, let's uh, get to the summary for today. In part one, we will read a passage from the Enchiridion by Epictetus, Stoic philosopher, and we will reinforce his wonderful wisdom with a passage from the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. In part two, we'll do some journaling. We do this every morning. And um, we'll take our journals out actually and we will do a couple of exercises to make this wisdom sink in a little bit deeper and finding ways of applying it in our own lives so we'll do some exercises there in part three i'll be guiding you through a visualization exercise as a practical demonstration of how to apply what we are learning today you know blueprint of the mind and then material world Part four, I will guide you through some empowering affirmations as well. Ask you to repeat out loud. And yes, I am here. Yes, I am listening. Yes, I can see and hear if you're doing it or not. And last but not least, in part five, I will guide you through a meditation to help you get this calm energy and to um, create this creative space to start your day. If you're excited, press the like button and let's begin. Welcome to the channel. This is our little morning show here where we spend a few moments of the morning every single day, Monday through Friday, to empower us as living an extraordinary life one day at a time. If this is interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, pushing the notification bell. All episodes come with free worksheets. That's right, free worksheets where you have all the exercises and affirmations and more. You get them directly in your inbox, completely free. You just have to subscribe to the newsletter and I will link everything you need to know in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube or in the show notes if you're listening on the podcast. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with a passage by Epictetus from this book that we've been studying all week. He says, and the book, by the way, is called The Enchiridion. It's on our reading list. I highly recommend you have a look. He says, and I quote, If you desire philosophy, prepare yourself from the beginning to be ridiculed, to expect that many will sneer at you and say, He has all at once returned to us as a philosopher. And remember that if you abide in the same principles, these men who first ridiculed will afterward admire you. But if you shall have been overpowered by them, you will bring on yourself double ridicule. End of quote. I love this, especially the last part. If you let other people overpower you, basically, in the sense that you care more about what they think of you than you care about, well, yourself and striving to reach your highest potential not only will you be ridiculed once by them but again double ridiculed only this time even harder because that will be by your own self with big s at least this is how i interpret this passage let me know in the comments below how this resonates with you as i mentioned before lao tzu in his book Uh, in the Tao Te Ching, he reinforces this statement. And he says, and I quote, when superior people hear of the way, they carry it out with diligence. When middling people hear of the way, it sometimes seems to be there, sometimes not. When lesser people hear of the way, they ridicule it greatly. If they did laugh at it, it would not be the way. I love this a lot. Um, And the way is written with a 
capital W, which is very important. Oh, I mean, it's translated this way, right? Um, but the way, your way, your path. I really love this. If they didn't laugh at it, it wouldn't be the way. Uh, I, I like this a lot. And by the way, this doesn't only apply to your personal development. It applies to everything in your personal and professional life. Maybe you have an awesome idea, but your friends are laughing at you for it. Well, if it was not laughable, if it was not outside of the box, it probably wouldn't be very good, or at least not a very original idea, would it? And don't fear to be ridiculed. You should not care what others think of you, of your personal development, of your goals, of your ideas, of your need for self-help, and so on. If people are your friends, they will support you. If they laugh at you for making an effort to become the best version of yourself and trying to make you quit in the process, are they really your friends in the first place? Are they really friends worth having? Are they trying to ridicule you because of their own securities? That is also possible. And as I mentioned before, some people will indeed think this is funny or weird to try to get better. I, I know it sounds crazy, but people will think it's funny or weird or I don't know what, when people just want to become better human beings. This is a crazy thought. And they might introduce minor one decisions we talked about, I think it was in episodes two, remember? Plus one decisions lifting you up to your highest potential and minus one decisions sinking you down to a false sense of security. And if you have more plus one decisions, you're closing the gap between who you are today and who you're capable of being at, your true capabilities at the highest version of yourself. And if you make bad little micro decisions day after day, then you sink back to this false sense of comfort, of security, and you don't grow, you don't move forward to your or to your goals, personal, professional, financial, emotional, all, all of it, right? Remember that you always have a choice, that you are indeed in control, that you have the decisions to make, even if they're micro, many tiny little decisions, they are yours to make. And once you make a decision, you commit to it. Even if it's a bad decision, you own it. I sincerely hope that I'm helping you in making good plus one decisions here by being with you uh, every single morning. But in case you're making bad decisions, I at least want you to be fully conscious about them. So, you know, sometimes we make bad decisions. We, you know, we eat the wrong food or we buy something we should not have bought or whatever it is. We react in a way that we should not have reacted. As long as you're conscious about it, it's okay. If you want to binge on Netflix, that's probably not the best decision for your personal growth, right? But if you're conscious about it and you say, okay, today I'm just going to sit on the couch and I'm going to binge and I know that I'm doing this, I'm conscious about it. Yes, it's a minus one today, but you know what? This is what I want to do. Then fine, do whatever it is that makes you happy. That's perfectly okay. The problem is when you lose consciousness about it, when you just do something, when you binge eat without knowing it, when you binge watch TV without knowing it. And um, I work in the tech industry, right? And I know that uh, your apps, your social media apps are are designed specifically for you to lose mindfulness, to you to lose your consciousness, to lose the concepts of time, and no, <laughs> not in a good way, not in a transcendental way, uh, by scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and watching these ads and scrolling and scrolling and watching these ads. This is how it's designed to be. So you can do whatever it is that you want. You can take plus ones or minus ones decisions. Just know it and own it. That is the point that I want to make right now. So let's move on to part two of today's episode and get to our journals so that we can do a few exercises. I wanted to answer this question. Think of a time where you had made a plus one decision, but you were embarrassed or felt silly towards your friends or colleagues or family because you didn't prepare for that ridicule. And because of that, you changed course, right? You made a minus one decision. Um, it was a decision that was actually not the best one for yourself, but best for the insecurities of some members of your entourage. So the question is this, how did that make you feel? Right? When um, you change what you wanted to do, 
because of insecurities of others and had to make a bad decision for it because you were scared to be ridiculed. How did that make you feel? And quite frankly, I hope it makes you feel bad, <laughs> really bad, bad enough that it never happens again. Why? Because I want you to own your decisions. You are the captain of the ship. You are the captain of the ship. Okay, let's move on to the next part of our morning routine, and that is a guided visualization exercise, empowering affirmations and meditation. These three will happen uh, one after another, so please sit somewhere where you'll be comfortable uh, comfortable enough at least to do the meditation and where you will not be too disturbed. Okay, so let's start with the visualization exercise. Remember, this is very important. We're creating the blueprints. We're creating our realities first in our mind and then we'll be able to translate it with ease in the material world. I want you to imagine yourself being very excited about an idea. It can be a business idea, an idea of how to improve yourself, um, or an idea of gaining a new skill, changing career, uh, going for that career that you've always wanted, that you've never given yourself a chance to go for, whatever it is. And I want you to imagine yourself getting really, really, really excited. And you tell everyone about it. Now imagine they are laughing at you or trying to influence you to give up and make a decision that will keep you stewing in a false sense of comfort. You'll never be able to make it in that area of, I don't know, of your profession. You'll never be able to make it as this or that. Um, you will fail, basically. Ha ha ha, you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough. How would you respond to these people if you were to stay your ground? Oh, this is what I want you to visualize, really. is Yourself staying your ground and not to give up on that idea that you were really happy about. Imagine you did that, that you just stood your ground. How would that make you feel? Powerful, proud, responsible, wise, happy even? Really put in some feeling, put in some emotion. Even if it's slightly negative emotion, it's fine. It's all part of the exercise. Visualize the emotion, the feeling of you acting differently than you would before. This is how we grow. You're in a safe place. Everything is just happening in your imagination. Go for it. I'm here to help you. You have a support group on Facebook or in the comments. You, you know, you have, we have your back. So stand your ground. How does that make you feel? Take your time and you can do it a few times today, the same exercise, the same visualization. Um, it's a very important one. And let's start with our empowering affirmation. So as always, repeat after me out loud. Number one, I am the captain of my own ship. Number two, I always have a choice to make bad or good decisions. Number three. I care about myself more than I care about peop what people think of me. Sorry, I'll say it again. I care about myself more than I care about what people think of me. Number four. Feeling ridiculous probably means I am thinking out of the box. I am unique and original. I love that about myself. I have ownership over who I am right now. And 
last but not least, I always make an extra effort to close the gap between who I am today and myself at full potential. Later on today, if you have the worksheets, they're all written down. Um, do it a few times. Do these affirmations throughout the day also. And, and try to do it in front of a mirror. That's really useful. It's very powerful. It's very powerful to, to see yourself, the reflection of yourself, saying these empowering affirmations. Note that I'm saying empowering affirmations and not the usual positive affirmations because some of them are not positive, but they're there to empower you and to, and to find the personal power that is, that resides within yourself. And on that note, let's start with today's meditation. Keep your eyes closed or close them if you've opened them in the meantime to see my pretty face. <laughs> a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And in today's meditation, I want to continue on what we did yesterday, which is just observing what is and accepting it. It's very simple, but very powerful. And not that easy. But we're going to be doing it together. We're all sitting down here together and we're going to do it together. Just observe what is. So sit, keep sat. If you need to fidget, fidget. If you need to move, move. If you need to crack your neck, do it as long as you do it safely. Don't try to change the rhythm of the breath. Don't try to change the depth of your breath. Don't try to change anything. Just sit back and observe. And as you observe, you accept. If there are sounds around you, you accept. Don't go all stressed out because it's supposed to be calm when you meditate. No. You sit back, you observe, and you accept. Observe any smells around you. Does it smell really nice? It doesn't smell really bad. It doesn't matter. You observe and accept. Is your breathing shallow? You observe and accept. You don't change anything. You observe and you accept. Talking about the breath. Let's stay on that for a while. Just observe yourself breathing. If it helps, you can count your breaths. If not, just sit back, observe, and accept. Let's take one nice deep breath now. This time you can control it nice and deep in through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth, opening your eyes, putting a smile on your face. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. 
Um, I've gotten some mixed feelings about these meditations of just sitting back and accepting. And we can talk about it. Um, I might do a live on Instagram about this very subject. I think it's very important. I think it's very powerful. I know it's not so sophisticated, but it's so important. And it's so... This is how you gain control of your life, of your evolution, of of your state of mind, just by observing and accepting. And only once you fully accept where you are can you move forward. There's no there's no shortcut here. You can't you can't grow if you don't know where you are. You can't grow if you don't accept who you are. Okay, so that's it for today's episode. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, I would really appreciate it. My cup is empty. Actually, nearly empty. Wait. There you go. My cup is empty. So if you would like to buy me a coffee, I really appreciate it. You'll have all the links in the description to this video. If you're watching on YouTube or in the show notes, if you're watching on the podcast, you'll get also all the links for the free worksheets. You will get, um, you know, the links of the podcast if you're listening on YouTube and vice versa. You will get links to the support group on Facebook, to the uh, book list, also uh, the reading list, the recommended, oops, recommended reading list. And um, I will see you tomorrow for the next episode. Take care. Bye.